People think Frankenstein and ghosts are scary. You know what's fucking scary? Vehicular homicides. How many people have been almost killed by one of these damn things in the last year? Right? This is terrifying. Uh, unless you go to Beaverton. I took this to work, and my coworkers were like, ooh, what are you? I'm a lime scooter. Is that a kind of uh, scooter then? It's, a, it's an electric, east there, you know, the ones on, in Portland? What? I've never seen those before. I live in Northwest. These things are ubiquitous as dog poop on the streets. And the people I work with have never seen one before. I was irrelevant. But you know what's not relevant? This fucking show! Welcome to Friday Night Fights, everybody! Halloween is here, introverts finally can go to parties and they know how to open up a conversation. What are you tonight? Oh, you look great. I love that. I'm such an introvert at parties. I need that kind of stuff to open up a conversation. Uh, but tonight is not going to be introverted at all. In fact, we're going to be quite extroverted, explosive even, because we're going to bring out two teams tonight. One is defending their championship here at Friday Night Fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna introduce them in a second. I'm not gonna say their name. I'm just gonna tease it. I'm gonna leave it right there. And the other one is coming up from our sister show, Thursday Night Throwdown. Yeah, so both of these teams have got a lot of support and they've both won. So it's gonna be a great mashup tonight. Uh, we're also gonna be joined in the third act tonight by an amazing comedian here in Portland. Jeremiah Coughlin is in the house. Uh, I'm really excited for this show, you guys. Are you guys ready to meet our two contesting teams? Yeah! yeah. All right. Now, did someone die? Yeah, they're dangerous, folks. Now, the first team coming up from Thursday Night Throwdown, uh, I asked them before they came out, what do you guys uh, want to say? And they're like, we love each other. We love you, the host. I said, stop pandering. I'm not voting in this damn show. The audience is. But I hope you find them lovable, because I certainly do. Everyone, please welcome to the stage, Just Philly! Welcome to Friday Night Fight. Now, you guys won a Thursday Night Throwdown. What was your recipe for success at that competition? Um, first and foremost, it was that we never left the stage. The whole time. We stayed there the whole time. And our motto is watch out world. And that's what we, we gave in the improv battle was like we were fully present. Look out. Love it. Watch out world. That abbreviates to wow. Yep. I love abbreviations that just end up being wow, wow. or bam. All right, so our second team. Now this one, they've won Thursday Night Throwdown. They've won this show before. They're coming back to defend their championship. Everyone, put your hands together for band practice. Now, band practice, you guys also must have a secret sauce because you've won this show before. So, last time, what brought you over that finish line to sweet, sweet championship land? Uh, I think we, we did our best and we honored our competitors. Can I just say that I'm trying to like host a mashup, like a, a match cage show where people come in and like fight and get aggressive and tenacious and Portland just can't stop. Stop it! <laughs> All right, you know what, you know what? It doesn't matter how much you hug because someone is gonna win tonight. Audience members, we're gonna put on two 17 minute shows and you guys will vote for the winner. That winner will go on two weeks from now to either continue to defend their championship or uphold their new championship title at the next Friday Night Fights. But a key part of this show is they can't go at the same time, all right? They have to go uh, first or second. So to, to, to determine that, we're gonna do a quick little game called Category Pow. All right, so the rule is very simple. We're gonna have three people from each team come forward. Uh, 
wait a minute. We love you. We love you, Soldier. All Soldier. right, no, this I, I love this. I love this. So there's a great audience here tonight. We got a lot of great people. Oh. Is there one person in particular though that really wants to shine and jump in and help this team be the third team member for this? I see. Yeah. Yeah. You, sir, with the beard. Yeah. We're gonna get a category from this audience, like types of bread or types of cheese. And I'm gonna point at them individually and they have to name something from that category. And I'm gonna move my hand around really quick so they have to rattle off things from that category. If they stumble, if they repeat, if they say, help me, or just go blank in the face, then the audience, we say, pow! and they're removed from the, from the round. So, let's practice saying pow, all right? On the count of three, say pow. One, two, three, pow! Yeah! Okay, that was really nice, though. There's been a lot of hugging here. I wanna bring it down a notch. Just get in the gutter a little bit. Think of something that made you angry this week, all right? One, two, three, pow! Yeah! Okay, are you guys ready? David, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah! Give it up for David, you guys! All right, can I get uh, a simple category to start? What was that? Occupations. Occupations. All right, now, uh, there's a lot of occupations, so if one sounds made up, you know what to say. All right, you guys ready? Set, go. Doctor. Roofer. Astronaut. Parent. Mailman. Seamstress. Nurse. Teacher. Dentist. Middle manager. Accountant. Skydive instructor. Promotions department. Principal. and it felt great to pow it too. You know what though? That was a practice round. That was a practice round. That was a practice round. All right. So see what happens. Okay, let's give them a category that will really make them stumble from like right Oscar winning, like best picture or cinematography? Best picture. Best picture? This is called sudden, this is the sudden death category is what this is. All right, do you know uh, Academy Award winning films? Okay, okay, because I need our, I need good judges, all right? So pow super loud with me, all right? All right, Oscar winning best picture films. Go. Titanic? Moonlight. Did it not win? That totally won! All right, okay, let's restart that. All right. Can I say the same? Okay. <laughs> All right, set, go. La La Land. The Shape of Water. Ah! Oh! I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry. That was best picture, not just It was best picture. That fake out still fucking us up. I feel like David was like, oh, great. La La Land won and turned off the TV. Over here. <laughs> Presidents. 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 All right. There's a bunch of them. Ready, set, go. Nixon. John Quincy Adams. George W. Bush. Barack Obama. George Washington. Martin Van Buren. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. William Henry Harrison. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Someone's just gonna be like, uh, that's what I was talking about. All right, can get another category from over here. One hit wonders. That's a subjective one, so I need like a, I need a. It's not like totally math, but uh, if, if if we feel really strongly that something is not a one hit wonder. Song titles or artists? Song titles. Song titles. Yeah. 
song titles, not the artist, the song. All right, are you guys ready? One hit wonders. Set, go. Blue. So we're gonna give you a pass. <laughs> David's doing a great job, I think. Uh, he rattled off presidents. Uh, from back here, <laughs> cereals. I love this one. Cereals. Tap in your inner child. Cereals. All right, set, go. Grape nuts. Cocoa puffs. Lucky charms. Special K. Rice checks. Shredded wheat. Wheat checks. Christmas. <laughs> Oreos. Cookies. <laughs> uh, okay, David. <laughs> And then you said cereal. So we gotta, we gotta eliminate people. If you wanna sit there with them, that'd be great. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give it up for David, everyone. Yeah. David. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, who has a category that they think is underappreciated? Tyler. underappreciated category except on the internet all right famous cats you're, you're gonna judge this one with me right okay all right ready set go salem mr mistopheles the cowardly lion garfield rum tum tugger tony the tiger uh, the one from captain marvel ah. Ah. i heard pow i'm sorry all right You guys won. Yeah. Do you want to go first or second? First, we want to go first. They want to go first. All right. So, band practice will go second. Everyone, please leave the stage. Thank you. All right. Before we kick this off, I just want to put a serious props in the air for my man, Anthony, who made the most spectacular entrance I've ever made on this stage. Thank you. That was awesome. All right, Anthony, can I get 17 minutes on the clock? Now, 17 minutes to win your heart, 17 minutes to make you laugh, 17 minutes to remind us all that we have hearts and we share them with the people in our lives. Or not, they might just be silly, whatever. They do what they like for the next 17. Please, welcome to the stage, the Philly! Sorry, I shouldn't have come in while you were working. Garrett, Garrett, we love you. Garrett, we love you. I love you too. We love you. <laughs> okay, this is a family business. What? Of course, of course. PG. What? How is love not PG? <laughs> How is love not PG? <laughs> why would not? Why would not? Why would neither of you answer my question? <laughs>
give it me more of that. Give me more of what? The, the thing you just put in my mouth, the fudge. <laughs> <laughs> She's never done mushrooms before. Because <laughs> the world is like exploding with love. It's like exploding with light and love and, okay, hold my Whoa. hand. Whoa! Hold my hand. Yeah. Look at the clouds. Am I your best friend or am I your best friend? You are my best friend. I told you. <laughs> Micro jealousy is the wave of the future, is what you said, Janet. Mom. <laughs> Could try the shrimps? Oh, <laughs> no, babe. No, not yet. Not well, yet. When? I've been playing with my knife for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> babe, someday when you're a grown up, you can choose what you do with your body. <laughs> so, like 10 more minutes? Huh? Like 10 more minutes? You're gonna be a grown up in 10 minutes? <laughs> Holy sh I am? What? On yeah. second thought, I shouldn't have had you do this in front of your child. <laughs> Bad choice. Bad wait, choice. Bad wait, choice. Wait, Janet, hmm? he's gonna be a grown up in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're wigging out on the concept of time right now. <laughs> That's classic. The concept of time. The concept of time. Concept of time. The concept of time. The concept of time. Time between your ears. <laughs> Dong. 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 <laughs> it's a little more jolly than I was thinking it would be when we installed the bell, but that'll do. That'll do. Ooh, this one's nice. You think people will respect monks with a bell that's that jolly? <laughs> I think it's a nice cold C. You know, they're, really gonna, they're gonna hear that cold major C like the from the mountainside. Cold C, that's very somber, yes. It'll inspire reverence, but at the same time, restraint. Oh. You're absolutely right. I I can't believe I doubted you. Brother Joseph. Where did I hear Jolly? Sister Angelica. <laughs> Sister Bobby. <laughs> Being on this mountaintop and in this small village has taught me that anything is possible. It's taught me that respect must be earned through the proper toning of a bell. Oh, oh. Installed in the tower that one has run the church previously occupying out of. Uh, question. Yes, his tenses were weird. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, those were facts. I was just, I was trying to sound religious and we're, it's well, just religion. the townspeople and their, their hatred of us. Uh -huh. It inspires you holding your tongue and, and you being unsure of, of how to express the love that you feel in your heart. Yes. Well, Sister Bobby has never really had a problem with that. No. You know what? She's like a nice clear sea. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we should lean into Jolly. Lean into Jolly? Lean into Jolly. Lean into Jolly? Lean into Jolly. 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 Oh my god. This That's Christmas why I say. I know. Lean into Jolly. Office party 2019. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you having our own was better than waiting for them to throw on for us. <laughs> Oh, we said, oh. Okay. Excel 97. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Becky, you are not as happy about this as I am. No, I, you said we were having a party, and so I assumed that that meant that we were having a party. I, I assumed I could get really drunk. And... Jackson is wasted. <laughs> He's just totally wasted. See? Come on, we were going to have a party, and this was the only way to enjoy being at work. We were going to restart. Oh. You were going to restart. I was going to restart. You're my only friends here. And if we don't have fun at this party, I don't know what I'll do. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I oh. no. Oh, my I gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate it.
love this. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and then, and then, then you, it's just yours, and you're just like, here's our baby. So we can't argue because the baby's there. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Throw a baby up? <laughs> Here's our baby. Here's our baby. Here's our baby. Here's our baby. This is a long baby. Here's our baby. <laughs>
cleanser. Uh, think of something really unfunny. Um, all right, okay. Now, let's go to our second act. Coming back to defend their championship here at Friday Night Fights. Everyone put your hands together for band practice. Try talking in one of those riding mowers. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit until I kind of establish kind of the vibe of the company. <laughs> yeah, well, you're his son, so. Huh? You're your dad's son. <laughs> he pays me good, man. Yes? Yeah. Like 15? Well, what do you. Let's both say a price we think would be fair for a, a lawn mowing. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be tough. Yeah. One. Two, three, four dollars. <laughs> what did you say? You said four dollars. What did you say? Fifteen. I said fifteen dollars. That's minimum wage. Damn. That'd be sweet, man. That'd be sweet. <laughs> Work up to it, you know.
physically fight your dad, right? You know that that you don't have to physically fight. Him. Did you? Oh, okay. Did you physically fight your dad? We <laughs> fight him in a physical way. You see my. You've been on that side of me the whole time, you see it. Now I see it clear as day, you got a plum. He got me. You got a big plum, you got a plum on your cheek, bud. I asked him if he was like boxing when he was a kid. No, he just, he said it was. He's naturally good. No, he said it was an easy target. Oh. <laughs> it's fun, because we, it's a fun fight. I just want to clarify to you, <laughs> it's fun. I'll talk, we'll talk about it, yeah. Something just fall off my no. 62 reissue Telecaster? No. Oh. Not at all. Pretty close, man. No, honestly, honestly, I think I fixed I think I fixed it. I think, <laughs> I, fixed it. I, think I fixed it. I think I fixed the problem. Listen to this. Could you do that before? You're, you're the guitar man. Yeah. Um Honestly, uh, uh, well about the gig, about uh Dunk. One of the things, <laughs> Bunch dunk. Yeah, one of the things that was, I thought was really cool, even though technically we're not headlining, I kind of feel like we're headlining from from opening, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're headlining from the front. Good luck following that. Yeah. Yeah, we set the tone pretty big. We big tone, so. Yeah. yeah, maybe we. Can you do an encore if you're the first group? I'll play on it. Great. Yeah, I already told the tech guy that we're gonna, so. <laughs> One on the house, and then one that's us. We 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 ask them. So yeah, yeah. That's sweet. Okay, cool. Do you want camp? Camp? You have all that camping gear. Yeah. Can you use it to camp there? <laughs> yeah. Um, we we stay on site. We can stay on site and hang out with the other bands. Maybe I'll connect. That connection will be good. Yeah. You think about that? Yeah, kind of like maybe like we meet some of the other bands. Late night jam session. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, I don't know. Okay, and then it's like a conversation. That's I think about music like a conversation. So <laughs> we meet we meet a new band and we we'll, uh, like, <laughs> Hey. Are you gonna come off like that when they're trying to say? No, that was them responding. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> cool, man. That's and that's kind of how I see conversations. Usually, when someone's talking, I'm thinking of the next riff. Yeah. 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 Waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs>
you're just gonna play the solo, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like I, yeah. Okay, let's hit the ending really quick. Two, three, four. Practice like you. I feel, I feel super bad. Whoa! What? Uh, yeah. All right. So okay. Before, remember. That's when, how you fixed it. Yeah. So when you asked about that, what what happened? What, what the reality of the situation was that when the guitar came over to me, it, this thing it fell off. It said, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm thinking now though is that that was wrong. Yeah. And I shouldn't have lied. And now that I know that you make four dollars a mo. I lied too. <laughs> I like too. It's four bucks a four bucks a mo. <laughs> Again, he compared it to the prices of gasoline these days, and it just seemed like it was a good deal. Still, he said inflation, and you know I don't like inflation. Nobody <laughs> likes inflation. I don't know what it is. That's why nobody likes it. You're an economics major. Okay, but, but, but uh, one plus one is two. Yeah, I don't know. That? Was that wrong? Was that wrong, though? <laughs> I got a degree to make my dad happy. All right? And yeah. You're mowing. You're, you're mowing to make, make your dad, dad happy. happy. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Does he still... Oh. Does a uh, yes. It's <laughs> cute, dude. It's and it was before the famous song, oh, yeah, you yeah. know. I know. And then like, my dad and I were watching YouTube videos together, like just <laughs> classic Friday night, yeah. late night, night, watching YouTube videos together. <laughs> Baby Shark comes on. It's an autoplay. <laughs> What's an autoplay from? Mass Singer. Season 2, episode 1. <laughs> Double episodes episode. about... It's like 50... Yeah. yeah. 43 yeah. minutes. <laughs> Who do you think the B is? Well, I think... Uh, okay, John Travolta. There I said it. <laughs> you and Reddit agree. Yeah. <laughs> I see those gears turning. <laughs> let's, let's play a song. Oh, uh, classic <laughs> economics major. Let's play the <laughs> okay. Okay, no, I stay here. Okay. Yeah. Let's play the okay, yeah. What we end our set with this? Our baby shark. Yeah. Not the famous ones. I don't know that one. Yeah. We're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, like end it. Like maybe we do this for the encore now since you've already talked to the.
gentlemen, we get to that point in the, the show when you've, you've seen art, and now it's your job to critique it. Because what is art without critique? So everyone, just cleanse your palates really quick. Think of something really unfunny, like a street sweeper or something. That's not funny. And now, with an objective mind, Just Phillies was the first one out tonight, and then band practice was the second one. You can write in Ethan Manthe to stroke my ego. All right, uh, our volunteers are going around, handing out little slips of paper, getting your votes. Everyone put your hands together for Kendall, our volunteer. We also got Morgan over here at the door. Thank you, Morgan. Welcoming us in from the cold and the dark to such a lovely, warm, funny place. All right, I'm gonna introduce our third act tonight. I've shared the stage with this gentleman before and it's been great, I'm really excited to have him here. Uh, he hosts a show at Helium uh, called For The Record. You can find him there on December 11th. He opened recently for Lionel Richie at the Moda Center, right? Was, was it Moda or Memorial? It doesn't matter, it's fucking Lionel Richie, you guys. He opened for Lionel Richie. All right, everyone, please welcome to the stage, Jeremiah Coughlin! going for Ethan. Give it up for Ethan. Yeah! yeah. And all, uh, both acts you saw tonight, man, those guys are good. When he was like, you saw art, now it's time for stand-up comedy. I thought that's where he was going with that, because this isn't art. Jesus, that, those guys, that's good. I don't even know how they remember all the fake names at one time, you know? Like, one's going, hey, Becky, yeah, Melissa, it's like, I don't remember who's who. It's so good. Uh, let's have another hand for uh, Tabitha and Nate behind the bar. Yeah! Nobody gave them a hand. Kendall, wherever he is, let's hear it again for Kendall. Yeah. You guys are great. I'm excited. Uh, my name is Jeremiah Coughlin. I'm excited to be here. Uh, I gotta ask you guys, what do you think of this shirt? You like this shirt? Yeah! It's got chocolate on it now, but that's okay. It kind of blends in, actually. I was like walking down the street eating a chocolate ice cream cone like an idiot. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, that doesn't come out. Yeah, it's not ever gonna come out, but that's okay. Probably shouldn't have pointed it out right off the top. But people love this shirt. I bought this shirt for Walmart, or at Walmart for $8, I mean to say. And uh, it's the best eight bucks I've ever spent in my life. People love this shirt. I get a lot of questions when I'm in this shirt. Uh, I was at the gym and this guy in the locker next to me saw me putting on this shirt covering pineapple, and he's like, hey man, you really like pineapples. Are you Hawaiian? <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking Hawaiian. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not. I'm not Hawaiian at all. Uh, but he was like really nice about it, so I just went with it. I was like, yeah, man, actually, I am Hawaiian. I'm actually in the Hawaiian <laughs> army, and this is our camouflage, you know? We're just <laughs> sneaking around. I don't know if that's racist or not, but you guys all laughed at it, so we're going with it. Um, <laughs> Straight to hell, yep, that's it. We're all fucked now. Uh, I do buy all my clothes at Walmart now, which is just a product of being a big guy and cheap, and I don't shop at Old Navy because I'm mad at them. Uh, I found, found something kind of fucked up last time I was at Old Navy that turned me off forever. Uh, they sell at Old Navy a 3XL slim fit shirt. What? Yeah, that's a real thing you can buy at the Old Navy, and I don't like it. Yeah, do the math, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I wear a 3XL shirt never once in my life if I thought, you know, I wish this shirt fit a little slimmer. You know, right here in the ribs? Let's get rid of all this material. Let's show these stretch marks off, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it at all. And fat shaming me in very passive aggressive ways at the Old Navy. And I'm not gonna go there anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not doing it. It's okay. Uh, what else is going on? I, uh, I got married. I got married a year ago. Yeah. Just over a year ago, just had our first anniversary. Uh, is there married people here? Make some noise. Any married people? Good job, thank you. I assume to each other, I don't know that, but I pointed right at both of you. Uh, yeah, people act like it's a big pain in the ass to be married. So far, we're killing it, man. Uh, 14 months, just high fives and blowjobs. Every day in my house. Yeah, I got the easy part of that job, so that's cool. Uh, I'm a really good high fiver, though, you guys. Really good. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we get along really well, though. Uh, we really don't fight. Uh, you know, you got to pick your battles, right? Um, 
There has been one fight lately. My, uh, my wife's convinced that you can get in trouble for throwing banana peels out the window of the car, uh, which she calls littering. I call that lazy composting. Uh, I feel like anything biodegradable you can throw out the window. Banana peels, apple cores, I threw a chicken bone at a cop the other day. Nothing bad will, will happen to you, it's okay. Uh, but I feel like I've won this argument, so I've gotten really aggressive about it. So now I'm like flinging banana peels out the sunroof on I-5. And the other day she's like, okay, so it's not littering, but what if somebody slips on that? Like, what is this, fucking Mario Kart? Like the Toyota Yaris behind us on I-5 is just gonna, ooh. Got us again, Diddy Kong, yeah. What do I, just yelling at Doyle rules every time I throw a fucking banana peel out the window, yeah. Stupid. Uh, but yeah, but other than that, I'm serious. We get along that well, uh, which is great. I, I, uh, I really do love my wife. She's great. Um, you got to pick your battles, right, married people? You got to be smart about it. I think that first wife I had probably helped a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm on my second marriage. Uh, I don't really like to talk about my ex-wife on stage. I don't like to do jokes about her because uh, she wasn't fucking funny is mostly why. Yeah, yeah, she was a bad person. Uh, she still is. A bad person. She's out there somewhere. Uh, not like an evil person. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. Just a shitty one. Uh, my ex-wife, she was the kind of person who would cheat at bar trivia. You guys know these people? Somebody always has a friend like that. Yeah. I caught her blowing a dude when we were at bar trivia one night. And, uh... Didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah, here's... We just use cell phones, man. Like, were the answers in his dick? We won the gift card. It was worth it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> no, my wife, Julia, is great. She's smart. She's funny. She's beautiful. Uh, she's gullible, which is something I look for in a woman. Yeah, I like a good gullible woman. Uh, I, think, I do this thing now when we're, uh, when we're listening to the, to the radio in the car where I try to convince her songs are about weird stuff. Uh, just normal songs. So that, yeah, like we're in the car the other day, we're listening to the radio. Uh, you guys like the oldie songs? Yeah. yeah. You probably just call them songs, sir. Uh, uh, come on, he gets it. It was either you or him. It was a, it was a toss up. It was a toss up. No, you're a good guy. But uh, Take It Easy by the Eagles was on the radio, right? It's a good song. I was like, honey, you know this song's about butt sex, right? And she's like, how do you come up with that? I'm like, listen to what he says. Running down the road trying to loosen my load. What do you think he's talking about? He says, come on, baby, don't say maybe. I gotta know that your sweet buns are gonna save me. Come on. She's like, that's not what he says. You're an idiot. I was like, all right, well. At one point, he does say, open up, I'm climbing in. So, I don't know. The more I listen to that song, I think I might not be wrong. She doesn't like it, though. She gets irritated. She's like, don't do that anymore. I was like, okay, but... Then the next song that came on was Pearl Necklace by ZZ Top. <laughs> I was like, you know what this song's about? She's like, jewelry? I was like, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, some of you guys still think that song's about jewelry, but that's okay. Google it later. Google it later. Uh, <laughs> I went to the doctor last week for chest pains. That's a fun thing at 38. Uh, yeah, chest pain, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because I, I'm a comedian, it's not stress. Uh, so she's just like, she goes, do you think it might be gas? <laughs> I was like, I feel like you think it might be gas. <laughs> yeah, my doctor's name was Marla, uh, and it, per it fits her, man. Marla, she's great. Uh, but she, she was just like, cause she's like, do you think? So then she's like, uh, she's like worried about my weight and all this stuff, and she wants me to start. Uh, it's like this fat people EpiPen. It's a Fepi pin uh, where you just, you like inject yourself. And it, it was like, it's like diabetes medicine, but one of the uh, side effects is you lose weight. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like an insulin thing. I don't have diabetes yet. Uh, that's what she says every time I say I don't have diabetes. Every time I say I don't have diabetes, Marla says yet. Uh, but <laughs> she's like, I want you to think about it. And I was like, I'll think about it. So then she's like, just do the research. So I went over and I Googled it. And it's like, over 56 weeks, people who use the dose of this lost nine pounds. I was like, I could take a shit and lose nine pounds, Marla. Like, we're gonna need some, you know many of those things that have to stick into me? <laughs> just walking around with these EpiPens sticking out of me? Uh, <laughs> that's sad. 
But uh, don't get sad on me, guys. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I have been going to the gym. I've been, uh, I've been trying, been trying. Yeah, so uh, my wife and I, we just moved into a new place. Uh, apartment dwellers, who lives in an apartment here? Okay, good, thank you. We're in the right neighborhood for that. Uh, wait, nope, homeowners here. Uh, I did this joke in Vancouver and no one lives in an apartment. I was like, well, but you live in Vancouver, so it's a trade-off. Uh, we just moved to a new place and uh, it's called The Ridge, uh, which is a terrible name. For, it sounds like a supermax prison, so it sounds like The Ridge is a terrible name. But the place we moved from was called Shadows Creek. It was like, who the fuck got murdered at Shadows Creek, man? Like, that sounds like a Nancy Drew novel, Shadows Creek. I like that. But the new place we, uh, the new place we live in has, a, like, a rec center connected to it, and you can go work out there. And so I did, uh, I did go to spin class. Uh, yeah, don't do that. It was spin class at my rec center is taught by this, like, 50-year-old Russian woman named Svetlana. Uh, which is so awesome. She's the best. I mean, for a spin class teacher, but like, she's actually pretty awesome. And she, uh, the first time I went, she was like trying to fat shame me into coming back. She's like, Jeremiah, I'm gonna see you again. You're gonna, I'm gonna see you again. And I was like, Yes, Vellani, you'll see me again. I promise. What I didn't know is I was gonna see her that night at Fred Meyer while I was walking around with a whole sheet cake in my hands. <laughs> and I just like froze when I came around the corner. And she looked at me and looked at the cake and looked at me and looked at the cake. And she was like, Are you going to a party? <laughs> And I said yes, but I didn't. I went home and I ate that fucking cake all by myself, yeah. Yeah, the new, uh, the same day uh, in that gym, the same day the pineapple shirt thing happened, uh, I was, <laughs> I was tying my shoes, at, this is after I worked out, I'm tying my shoes, uh, and there's a full length mirror in front of me, and this guy walks out of the shower, completely naked, no towel, biggest penis I've ever seen in my life, right? Like I caught it out of the corner of my eye while I was, tying my shoes, big penis. And for no reason at all, out loud, I just said, oh boy! Uh, which has never happened to me before, I don't know. I don't say that when I see my own penis. It just felt natural, though, it just came out. He was cool about it, like he didn't even stop, he was just like, yeah, I know, like just kept walking, like it happens all the time, which must feel good, yeah, just swinging that old boy dick around, yeah. But I was excited because I went to that gym locker room, just a straight white guy, and I come out a gay Hawaiian. So I felt, I was pretty excited, yeah. I felt pretty good about it. Is there a, <laughs> stupid. Uh, bring the improvers back, this is dumb. You guys, you guys don't deserve this. Um, <laughs> is there uh, dog owners? Who owns the dogs? You guys own dogs? Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? German Shepherd Wolf Hybrid. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you live in an apartment? Holy shnikes. Do you get, who else? I need somebody with a better dog now. What kind of dog do you have? German short hair pointer. Okay, so uh, do you guys have this when your dog, like your dog doesn't like other dogs? Like a specific, like our dog, our neighbor dog and our dog don't like each other? And every time I see that guy that owns that dog, I'm like, oh, here comes that fucking idiot. Like I hate his guts for some reason. Even though he's done nothing to me. I don't even know his name. But I see him in his German, he's got a full-size German Shepherd. I live in a one-bedroom apartment, okay? Uh, and this guy, <laughs> if you live in a one-bedroom apartment, you have a German Shepherd, you're a Nazi, right? I think, right? A little bit, you're at least Nazi curious. I don't know. Got some memorabilia. It's either that or you're blind. Those are the only two reasons to own a full-size German Shepherd and live in a one-bedroom apartment by yourself. Uh, yeah, and my, I have a little wiener dog. You'd think that our dog, I mean, they're from the same country. You'd think they would get along, but they do not. My dog Oscar hates that dog. Oh, man. And I just, I need a reason to hate the guy. I just, every time I see him, I'm just like, oh, God, this guy's a fucking moron. Even though he's done nothing. And I'm not the brightest. I don't know. I still, here's the thing. And if somebody can answer this for me, I will lose my mind. Uh... How come when you flip that little thing on your rear view mirror, you can still see out the back, but the lights aren't as bright? Can somebody fucking tell me the reason why that works? Science. The top of what? Oh, the shit. Yeah, okay, good. Thank God you explained it to me. Because that was always what I thought, that it was reflecting off the top shit, and then I could still... Exactly, we're idiots. I don't know how that works. I have liquid crystals in my pocket, and I don't know what that even means. 
Think about it, though. Why does that fucking work? I mean, why does that speaker work? It's a piece of paper and a magnet. Why does that work? I don't know. Why does it? How can it make the same as science? Yeah, it's a good answer. I bet you the guy with the German Shepherd doesn't know either, though. So, uh, what did I... <laughs> I, uh, what's been going on? I've been traveling a little bit for comedy, which has been cool. Uh, I went to Southern California this year. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a rainstorm in San Diego, which means it rained for like seven minutes. Uh, and people lost their shit. Uh, there are signs on the freeway in San Diego when it rains that say lights on, wipers on. I was like, who needs to be told this? <laughs> like, there's just some dude, and like, he was like, no, I don't even know how those work, bro. I don't even, I just look around the raindrops. Like, who? I'm concerned for everybody involved. Yeah, it's so scary. The other thing, <laughs> in San Diego, uh, it was like 65 degrees and not sunny, and I was at a, a hotel that had like a big pool resort thing. I, was, I felt like a millionaire who'd rented out Disneyland. I was the only person in that pool. And like the lifeguard is sitting there with a parka and a beanie on and she was like, if you drown, I'm not saving you, okay? And I'm just like, I'm gonna go around the slide one more time. Don't worry about it. Uh, the thing that I noticed at that pool also in San Diego is that there are uh, signs next to the urinals in the bathrooms that say urinals use reclaimed water, do not drink. Who is this for? I don't understand, yeah. It's like if that sign wasn't there, I'm just gonna walk in on some dude like with a puka shell necklace, like, no, these are the good ones, man. This is the fresh stuff, I don't know. I'm so scared for those people, what's the matter with them? Uh, I gotta get out of here in a little bit. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah, you having a good time? Good, you know who you're voting for? Is everybody? Did people make some noise if you came here to see a specific group tonight perform? That's good. That's good. That's awesome that you guys support each other like that. That's great. Uh, no, that's cool. That doesn't happen very often. Um, what do I want to tell you? Oh, I, like I said, I, get, I love getting to travel. I've gotten to go around and do some cool stuff. Uh, like, I was just in Medford. Uh, that's a place you can go. I would, yeah. yeah. You're from Medford? Yeah. Yeah, that's a place you can go, man. Uh, I, I went to uh, <laughs> I went to uh, Medford, and the it was like in this little club, and all of the people in the front row of the uh, comedy club at, in Medford all had Mongols motorcycle club jackets on, <laughs> which is a little nerve wracking. Yeah, they don't laugh at shit. Uh, I don't know why they were there. I got one guy. There was a guy with a beard, like, down to his belly button, and, like, three separate times he went like this. And I was like, that's hilarious laughter from the Mongols. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing okay. But I, I took a picture of them from, like, the back of the room so you could just see their jackets, not their faces. And then I put it on my Instagram, but I made the mistake of tagging the Mongols. But I was like, hey, biker gang in the comedy club. And then some guy named Sticky Muffin, uh, that's real, uh, messaged me on Instagram, and he was like, we prefer motorcycle club to biker game. So I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, next time I go to Medford, I'm gonna get fucking disappeared. But uh, yeah, the Mongols think I know too much, I guess. Uh, the saving grace of Medford, Oregon, is they have uh, an In-N-Out burger, uh, which is great. Yeah, it's not that good, but we don't have it, and I like it. And I eat there, like, I'll be there, I'll be in Medford for three days, and I'll eat there five times, but... <laughs> The In-N-Out Burger in Medford closes at 1.30 a.m. Uh, and I showed up at 1.29, because I'm good at life. And yeah, I made it. And I got in line and I got up and I ordered my food. And then I looked behind me and this guy had come in behind me. And he got up to the counter and the lady behind the counter, and she, this is probably this poor person's life. Uh, and she said, I'm sorry, sir, the last customer of the night has been served. And he immediately started trying to negotiate with her, you know? Like, like, how about just a strawberry shake? And she was like, she said it again, like, I'm sorry, sir, the last customer of the night has been served. So he started looking over at me like I was, like, going to back him up somehow. I don't know. He was like, you know, like, get a load of this. And I'm already sitting there with a piece of paper that says I get a cheeseburger. Right? I'm, I'm the last chopper out of Saigon, dude. I don't give a shit if this guy gets a cheeseburger or not. And she said it one more time, I think, to kind of twist the knife on the guy. You know, she's like, I'm sorry, sir, the last customer of the night has been served. 
And he did leave, but it was like he'd been broken up with by that In-N-Out burger, you know? Like, he just, he just walked to the door real slow and, like, turned around when he got there and was like... <laughs> so after I got my food, he was still in the parking lot. He was sitting in his car. Uh, yeah, so I went out right by his window and just ate my cheeseburger. <laughs> made eye contact with him while he masturbated. It was great, yeah. yeah. Animal style, yeah, you got it, you got it, you guys. Thank you so much, I'm Jeremiah Cobb. What was that? He's keep getting more clothing. Well, we keep getting closer to the end of the show, and I gotta get home. Uh, you guys, I'm putting on my jacket because <clears throat> I guess Car to Go closed up yesterday, which means I gotta ride my two wheels of death home. Be safe out there, y'all. All right, you guys ready to find out who won? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. We get a little bit of a, a drum roll up there, Anthony. The winner of Friday Night Fights is Ben Practice! championship for the, well, they'll defend it the second time, but they'll uh, hopefully win the third time. Yeah. I'm messing up the outro. You guys have a great night. Drop